Ahmed from Oman says that he missed Dhuhr and Asr and only find, found time to pray it in Maghrib. So how would he uh, pray? Would he pray Maghrib and then pray Dhuhr and Asr or what? First of all, I asked him, why did you miss Dhuhr and Asr? And he said, because I was busy at work. In this case, this is not a legitimate reason. You're sinful, you've missed Dhuhr and Asr, and you cannot make them up at all. They cannot be made up. Because the Prophet said, whoever sleeps over a prayer or forgets it, he must pray it as soon as he remember it, because there is no expiation other than that, which is praying it as soon as you remember it. So the Prophet gave two reasons, alayhi salatu wasalam, sleeping and forgetting. Now someone at work, he is neither forgetting and nor sleeping. He could simply go, but he says, I have a meeting. I have a presentation to make. I have this and I have that. And he keeps on uh, uh, stalling and, and postponing and delaying until the time is over. In this case, he, his prayer is not accepted, even if he prayed it 10 times. But uh, hypothetically, assuming that you slept or you were so busy, you forgot totally. Nobody reminded you and you did not remember until the sun uh, uh, had set. So what to do? The most authentic opinion is that you have to pray the missing prayers in order. Meaning that Maghrib, you should pray it with the, uh, uh, on time, Isha on time. Now what you've missed was Dhuhr and Asr, and these are composed of four rak'ah, while Maghrib is composed of three. So the most authentic opinion is that you join them in the Maghrib, you pray the first, second, third rak'ah, and when the Imam offers Salam, you stand up to perform your fourth rak'ah, completing your four rak'ah of Dhuhr. And then afterwards, you pray Asr, and then afterwards, you pray Maghrib once again.